driver had come in this lane and struck him. West Shore towing owner Dave LeQuain knows there are risks in his line of work. It is a dangerous job. There's, there's no way around it. And that's why he says safety is his number one priority. One of his drivers, who's been hit twice in his career, is now recovering from being struck by a driver Friday afternoon. LeQuain believes different color rear lights could have made a difference. We'd like to see the province allow tow trucks to have red flashing lights. Current BC laws restrict tow trucks to amber lights. It's not being seen. Across town, his competition agrees. It's darn right scary. Don Affleck owns Peninsula Towing. Both he and LeQuain have tested out rear red lights in the past. They say the law has been around for decades, but was often overlooked until recently. Without them, you're at risk. You, you're just you're just washed out uh, with everything else on the road. It works, and we'd still be using it today, but we've been asked to remove them and not use them, or we risk the chance of not being used by our police contracts. The Ministry of Transportation and Infrastructure told Czech News, quote, red flashing lights are reserved for fire, ambulance, and law enforcement. There are no plans to include other vehicles. The ministry reminds motorists of the requirement to slow down and move over whenever coming upon flashing lights, regardless of the color. If this accident was on the Malahat or on the Trans-Canada Highway on Friday afternoon, you and I would have a different story to tell. Uh, the driver wouldn't have been so lucky. Truck one dispatch. LeQueen says he's gained support throughout the province and won't quit till his drivers are safe.